Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Mumu Outdoors. We are back on the water in the big blue on oh, my Stealth Fusion 480. Ah, oh, hello paddling. Man, this is uh, so much fun. Because when you're paddling, you feel way more connected to the kayak and uh, way more connected to the water. As far as the forecast, the swell is going to be 6 foot. 6 foot is a little high, but it's every 13 seconds. So it's going to be really gradual up and down. So it's going to be nice. The wind is pretty good too. Uh, we're looking at under 10. It's supposed to stay under 10 until afternoon. And afternoon, it might get up to 12, 15. And uh, if it stays true to the forecast, it's gonna be a really, really nice day. But forecast is just a prediction, so anything can happen. So we're gonna try to catch some bait first. And uh, I got some frozen herring for bait as well, in case. So let's quickly set up my sabiki rod. So I got my sabiki right here. And uh, let's set up my halibut rod. So I've been using this uh, goo fish, uh, slow pitch jigging rod uh, for a few months now. And uh, I dig it. I like it. I love the slow action to it. Because of the slow action, even though this is not really a trolling rod, it works really good trolling for halibut or just trolling for anything. I really like it. It's super light. And uh, especially on a kayak, when you are jigging, I really like the light rod. It's not like on the bow. Uh, you have to kind of keep your arms up uh, to your chest level and then do this so uh, it really helps before your shoulder your arms get tired I'll probably do a review on this rod in the near future um, speaking of reviews I do a lot of gear reviews I've done a review on this kayak uh, this paddle bending branches uh, this PFD the wetsuit the radio or even the sunglasses I just did a review on these sunglasses so I'm going to be trolling for halibut as well while looking for the bait ball. Let's go for a troll. I think it's a rockfish. Fighting good? <laughs> I saw something looks like a bait ball down there, so I dropped it down. And uh, weather is uh, oh oh, it's the ocean whitefish. Woo! Ocean whitefish. Oh, 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 what a treat! What a treat! Oh man, these guys are such a good eating. Let me see if I can pull up more. Oh, fish on. Oh yeah. Oh, hopefully it's ocean white fish. Oh yeah. Fighting good, they fight good too. For their size, they fight good. Ah, uh, it's a link cut. Ah, uh, it's a nice size link cut. Keeper. 24. Oh. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Yeah, good size link cut. Good either size. We got something here. Maybe it's the ocean whitefish. 
Oh, it came off. Dang it. Should be picked up. <laughs> Whatever it is, yeah. Oh, yep, I think it's the ocean white fish. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep. Yep, yeah, buddy. Ooh, nice size too. I'm a sabiki. <laughs> Get that. Oh man. Yep. 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 So I thought it was a uh, bait fish on the bottom. And then uh built big, so initially. You know, I thought it was a rockfish, but it turns out it's a school of ocean rockfish on the bottom. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh, came off. <laughs> he, he, he jumped out. Dang it. Fish on. But there's a sea lion swimming around me. So I hope he doesn't get my fish. Pretty decent size. Whatever it is. Hopefully it's a butt. Hopefully. I'm on a pretty sandy area so. I'm hoping it's a butt. Oh no, the sea lion is going after it. What is it? What is it? Ah, it's a lingcod. It's a good size lingcod. Very nice size lingcod. Oh man. Yeah, like 20, 28, 27, 28. Not the species I'm looking for, but uh, yeah, good size. Come on, run away. So, so far I got two lingcod, which is not in season, and uh, two ocean whitefish. So, ocean whitefish, these guys are. These guys are really, really tasty. Uh, they are actually my second favorite fish to eat. My D favorite is the halibut, but these guys, oh man, so good too. It's up there. Just like halibut, it's mild tasting, but texture is di different, uh, so good. Every time I come down here, I'm, I'm hoping for ocean white fish, and I'm very happy that I got two today. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 Still on? Yep. Ah, it's a Linka. Yep, death row. Yeah, coming up really easy. Definitely a Linka. Man, these guys are biting today. This time it's a shaker. Man, this little guy pull pretty hard. <laughs> yep. My leader is starting to get frayed. It's still good. But anything more, I'm gonna have to change it out. Try to find more sandy area. Keep catching link out over here. I got something small on. Probably rockfish or tiny link out. I'm on top of the reef right now. It's a small link. 
they are chewing today. Too early, buddy. You gotta wait until May. I'm going through bait like crazy right now. the link hot. They gotta get out of here. <sighs> Time to change my leader. Alright, let's get out of here first. I gotta find some bait. I haven't got a single bait yet. Oh yeah. Oh, sardine, not a mackerel. More bait, jack smell. Fish up. Whoa. Whoa. I think it's a shark. Oh, yeah. yeah, fighting weir. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's over there. Ah, okay. Broke the line. Broke the line. It was definitely a shark. I wanted to enjoy the sleigh ride a little bit longer, but. Yep. Broke off right there. Shoot off. something I don't know what it is yet I think it's a hell of it could be link hot I don't know I don't know I hope it's a hell of it I hope it's a hell of it. Come on. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's fighting weird. It's not a. Oh, it came off. Dang it. Oh, it came off. And then I lowered it down and it took it again. I don't know. It's just being heavy now. So a lot of times when they let go, I drop it back down and then sometimes they come back for it. So it's just this is size. So now just playing dead.
It's almost up. Yes, Albert. Sideways, homie, at the last minute. Come on, let's not lose this. After losing a couple last time, I really don't want to lose this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a good size. So good size. Ah. So usually, when the halibut gets gaffed, um, especially in the in the belly area, they get they kind of get stunned, so they don't flap around like crazy. So that's why I'm keeping the gaff in there. And the first thing I do is, of course, I put a string around here. So cut the gill and bleed it. I think it's safe to get the gaff off. It might still flop around. Even that. Oh, it's all bloody. A bloody deck. I love it. I love having a bloody deck. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's heavy. So slippery. Okay. Up close. Yeah, we got about 35, maybe just a quarter inch above 35. Heck yeah. Woo! I'm sorry, I can't hear you, Sonny. Oh, okay. This is a baby halibut for you. 35. 35? Yeah. Oh, damn, man. Hey, that's good. Anything over 30 good. For you, it's a baby. It's, it's a good uh, size. Okay. It's super thick. But kayak fishing OG over here, Sonny, to him, 35er is a baby. Because he catches like 50 inch halibuts. All right, I got it. <laughs> Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Oh, I'm all slimed up. All oh, slimy. I love it. Yeah, I caught a few 35 inches in the past. This one is definitely heaviest. And uh, if he stays true to the forecast, it's gonna be a really, really nice day. But. Forecast is just a prediction, so anything can happen. So the wind picked up, it's blowing steady 20. It's not supposed to be this windy. So we're gonna troll uh, on the way in. Fishing is pretty tough when it gets so windy, but paddling becomes more fun when it gets windy. <laughs> 